Hello friends, today we are solving a pair of simultaneous equations using Kramer's rule. Now the first thing we need to do is to come up with matrices from this uh, simultaneous equation. The first matrix will represent the coefficients matrix, the one representing the numbers which are with the unknowns, is what we call the coefficient matrix. So we shall have it look like 2, 3, 6, negative 2. So we have taken the coefficients and formed the first matrix. The, the second matrix will represent the unknowns x and y written column wise like that is equal to the last column, the last matrix will represent the coefficient, the, the answers or the quotients as 10 and 4 as indicated. Now we shall start solving for x by saying x will be equal to we come up with or we find the determinant of this matrix. This is the matrix we shall use in solving the equation and this one. So we shall take this one. We find its determinant. So we shall write it mathematically like this. 2, 3, 6, negative 2. These bars here mean determinant. They mean determinant. So it simply means we are looking for the determinant of this matrix. And that's what we shall replicate down here. We shall have 2, 3, 6, negative 2. But there will be an adjustment on the numerator side. Because we are looking for x, we shall replace the coefficients of x with the, co the quotients, these values here. We are looking for x whose coefficients are 2 and 3. We shall replace them with these ones. 10, 4. We are only doing the replacement on the numerator side only. So from there, we shall say now, uh, sorry, the determinant of this will be written as, when we are finding the determinant, it simply means we multiply the elements or the numbers which are in the primary diagonal, that is 10 times negative 2, subtract the product of the elements in the secondary diagonal, meaning subtract the product of 4, and 6. 10 times 2, sorry, 10 times negative 2 minus 4 times 6. We start by multiplying from top left to bottom right minus this one here. Then all over, we do the same here 2 times negative 2, 2 times negative 2 minus 3 times 6, 3 times 6. That gives us this times this gives us negative 20 minus this times this gives us 24 over 2 times negative 2 gives us negative 4 so we shall have negative 4 then this times this gives us negative 18 and that this one simply results to negative 44 negative 44 over negative 12 negative 22 sorry negative 22 negative and a negative cancels 22 cancels here once, it cancels here twice. So the answer is 2. Then we now come and do the same for y. So we shall say y is equal to, we take this, the determinant of this. So let me write it mathematically as I said. So we shall have those bars. Then 2, 3, 6, negative 2. And then on the denominator side, we shall have the same. 2, 3, 6, negative 2. But because we are solving for y, we shall replace the coefficients of y with these ones here, the quotient uh, elements. So we shall replace this with 10 and 4. So the answer will now be the product of the elements in the primary diagonal, which is actually 2 times 4, 2 times 4, minus the product of elements in the secondary diagonal, which is 3 times 10. On the denominator side, we shall have 2 times negative 2, 2 times negative 2, minus 3 times 6, 3 times 6. You realize that in the denominator, in the denominator side, there is nothing that changes in both cases. So we shall have this times, this gives us 8 minus 30, 8 minus 30 over negative 4 minus 18, negative 4 minus 18, and that simply means this minus that is negative 22 over 
this minus that is negative 22 also. So a negative and a negative cancels. 22 cancels here once, it cancels here one. So that means the answer is one. So that means therefore that x, x is equal to two and then y is equal to one. So that's how we use Kramer's rule to solve a pair of simultaneous equation. Now I want to give you a question which you will have to try and you write the answer below the column, the, the, the comments uh, uh, section. So the question is, the question is, x, sorry, uh, 4x minus 3y is equal to 6, then 5x plus 2y is equal to 19. So you will try this one and then you will have the answer written on the co uh, comment section. Thank you for watching and please like and share so that your friends can also get to, to get this information. Have a nice day.